Hey there, welcome, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Um, if you're new here, my name is Rabbit, and my pronouns are they, them, and um, I'm really excited for today's video, but also like a little nervous because I haven't done anything like this before, and um, I, I don't know how it'll go, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, basically, someone a while ago recommended, um, or like asked if I would do like kind of a vegan um, food haul video or like something like that and um, normally I eat pretty like me and my boyfriend eat pretty boring stuff like just like the same kind of veggie stir fries every night and like lots of bananas and lots of like peanut butter sandwiches like pretty basic things however <laughs> we had this date the other day and um, I wanted to go Halloween shopping with him because I've just been feeling really really nostalgic for Halloween and all of the um, I've been just like super into watching like Halloween YouTubers lately, um, so like I've just been constantly um, looking at like Jade the Libra, like even like her old stuff from like the years past, like rewatching it, and like I found some new ones this year, like the Spooky Vegans and Midge Munster, and um, oh yeah, um, oh my gosh, I'll put the name, but it's something like Lovely Nix or something like that, but um, I really liked everyone's videos that I watched and it's just got me like super inspired to like go Halloween shopping because lots of these people were saying like, oh here, like they're putting out stuff, um, but I live in Canada so I went out to like go Halloween shopping and then my boyfriend and I literally didn't find like anything. Actually that's a lie because we did end up going to the thrift store and I found this little pumpkin friend and this little scaredy cat friend. So. Technically, I found those things, but it wasn't like official Halloween shopping. I just like happened to find them at the thrift store in like the kids section. Um, so that was really cool. However, um, <laughs> this is such a long story. I'm sorry. Um, I, um, but basically, um, we didn't go Halloween shopping and we didn't find anything. So instead, we went to a couple thrift stores, and then I decided to go. We decided to go to this like vegan marketplace together. Um, like it's like this little cafe that's local, and they like make and they also carry a bunch of like frozen vegan food and um my boyfriend just was like okay just like pick out whatever and um it, it was really awesome we got like so much stuff and i'm so excited to show you guys and then also since i was like making a vegan food video i figured i'd also talk about just like some other stuff that we got recently this stuff is all non-frozen so i'll talk about it first because it's less time sensitive um but i've just been like experimenting with like some interesting foods lately with like extra pocket money that I've had from like YouTube and stuff um, and just like things like that so without further ado I guess let's get into like my favorite vegan snack foods or like little junk foods or like just different vegan food hauls that I've done recently um, so my absolute favorite thing that like just okay before I was vegan I liked marshmallows and that was like one thing that like felt kind of like frustrating for me to give up like lots of things I don't miss very much but marshmallows I did miss until I found um, Dandy's vegan marshmallows and I used to get the big ones but now I really like to make these Rocky Road cookies like these vegan um, cookies that are like chocolate based with like almonds cut up inside and marshmallows inside and then chocolate chips and they're really really good uh, but it's easier to get the little marshmallows to cut them up and basically my local like kind of health food store like natural market kind of place vegan food whatever uh, place has them and they're so good um, I'm sure you can get them online but they're basically like little vegan vanilla flavored marshmallows they taste so good you can like roast them like normal but like I don't do that I just put them in cookies and like when you put them in the oven they like freaking expand and then like kind of caramelize and then like kind of get all like delicious and squishy and cookies I'm like oh my god if you guys like I really like to bake so if you guys would ever want to see like a baking video um totally let's do that because that would be really really fun um but yeah Dandy's vegan mini marshmallows are like one of my favorite absolute things in the world <clears throat> A thing that is new that I got recently um, on behalf of my boyfriend are these soy curls um, which contain the whole bean according to the package how delightful um, but yeah basically my boyfriend likes to get big bulk packages of different food like he did this with like a crate of Soylent before we like started dating and just like decided like I'm just gonna do the Soylent thing instead of like, you know, meal replacement um, supplements instead of just like regular meals and stuff. So 
Um, he had to drink a lot of it to get um, through the entire thing eventually. But so I've always been like, please don't get like massive amounts of food before we know if we like it or not. However, in this case, it was great because these things are actually delicious. Um, so um, they're they marketed as delicious protein strips. They kind of feel like jerky almost. Basically, you they're dried up and you put them in water and then you wait like six minutes or whatever for them to expand and then you just like cook them um like you'd cook like a tofu or stuff yeah basically they're dehydrated tofu i don't know why that took me so long to get there um but they're really really good um i we like to cook a lot of kind of stir fry type things like for dinner a lot of times um so these are really good in that i found um and one thing that i love about like tofu and like kind of those kind of like tofu and soy based products is that they don't taste like much so they're this amazing like blank canvas for flavors where you can literally make them taste like anything um and they'll just like soak up whatever you want them to um so i freaking love tofu for that reason and um yeah, so soy curls are like, I guess in the tofu family, I would assume, and they're amazing. These were a gift from my mom because she went to Costco and she knows that I love these and she got them for me. They're sun-dried tomatoes um, with herbs and oil. Um, if, if you haven't tried sun-dried tomatoes and you're a vegan, like they have this really wonderful like meaty texture flavor type thing going on with them and um, basically like I just like drain them with a fork like just pick a couple up like with a little fork so like all the oil drains off and then I'll put them like in a sandwich I'll put them in pasta or I'll put them in like fake tuna if I ever like make fake tuna or whatever type thing um, but they're super delicious I'm sure if you like to eat a lot of salads they'd be really good in those too uh, but my boyfriend also loves them uh, when we get like vegan burgers he loves to put them on his burgers as well um, so these are really really amazing thank you to my wonderful mother for getting these for us um, it's delightful I feel like am I like totally cut off I'm sorry you guys um, I don't have like my uh, cord that normally attaches to my laptop so I can't like see where I'm filming except for like kind of in this mirror behind me so that's what is the it's a whole situation <laughs> anyway moving on okay this is a thing that I have wanted to do forever so okay my first job and basically all my jobs except for this one time that I worked at Urban Outfitters or whatever um, I've worked at cafes and like as a barista and stuff um, and as a barista you always have these like different flavored syrups for like coffee drinks and stuff and I am very much a flavored syrup person like I'm not one of those people that's like oh only black Americanas for me please um, so um, we recently we have this tea at the place that I work at right now that's like this calico cat tea with like apple and rose hip and hibiscus in it and it's like so freaking good. And we mix it with this peach syrup and the peach syrup like literally makes my life. So I decided to just go on the syrups website, like the brand that we get at my work and just order some for myself. So I got a peach syrup, um, which is delicious. And my boyfriend d likes to drink a lot of green tea and he likes to put the syrup in it um, instead of like honey lately sometimes because it's like peachy green tea because it's like iced because um, it's the summer and it's crazy hot for us here. So um, yeah, I got this wonderful peach syrup and it's a little bit hard to pour. I like kind of debated not, I was like, should I get a pump or not? Nah, nah, nah. um, but we ended up not getting one because they're like $6 each. Um, but it's really good, highly recommend it. And then since I was on the site and I already told you guys that I love marshmallows, I ended up getting a toasted marshmallow syrup and I was like really nervous about it. And um, I'm not gonna lie, it has a little bit of like an alcoholic aftertaste um, in a weird way, but it's non-alcoholic and it's vegan and stuff. Like all their syrups are vegan and like free of major allergens, obviously, because that would be a big problem if you're like a mainstream syrup company. Um, but basically, yeah, it tastes like freaking marshmallows um, and I put it in my coffee um, I love drinking um, like espresso like that I make in like a little mocha pot on the stove um, with oat milk and this stuff it's like my new favorite thing um, I do drink a lot of coffee I also like black tea with oat milk and sugar um, but yeah different topic for a different day oh no man down and then the syrup website had this <clears throat> thing where like if you got like X amount you got free shipping so we got a third one and I haven't tried it yet but it's one that we have at my work that I like and it's the caramel one um, I was thinking I could also add salt to it because I love salted caramel it's one of my favorite freaking flavors um, 
but yeah caramel and coffee especially as a vegan you can't have like most caramel sauces and like caramel desserts and stuff so I find it super delightful and I'm really really excited about that um, and then this is like something so fun that I literally haven't had since I was like 17 which I'm 23 now in case anyone's curious but um, I used to get these <laughs> Because I used to go to this, oh my god, this sounds like so, ugh. But um, my brother's girlfriend used to work at a hot yoga place, so she gave us like all these free passes to go. And then there was this little like health food store near there. Um, and they had these kale chips. Um, these are the two that my boyfriend and I got. Um, but I just remember eating them and like when I ate them I was like, oh my god, I literally like feel like 17 again. Like. It, it, was, it was really weird. That, that sounds really strange. Um, but they're really, really wonderful. Um, they're natural, whatever that means. Raw, gluten-free, vegan, dehydrated. Um, they're by Solar Raw Foods. They have a cute little kale um, logo. And the thing that I really like about them is that I feel like they use a lot of cashews. So the kale chips are really crunchy. I'll just like show you guys. Um, also, I like, I feel like most people might eat in food halls and if you're like just just to address why I'm not doing that um, I really am bothered by the sound of chewing and like mouth sounds and any of that kind of stuff um, so to edit a video where I have to hear my own chewing um, I don't know it literally sounds like my worst nightmare so I'm not gonna eat anything in this video for the sake of my own ears um, that's also um, why I have trouble with using a microphone. I know some people have mentioned that my videos are very quiet, uh, but I found that when I use a microphone, I can hear too much of my mouth sounds, and even if I drink a lot of water, it doesn't seem to help it very much. So um, I'm really sorry about that. I just have a very big sensitivity to that kind of thing. Um, so it is what it is. That's why I'm not eating, but I will show you this kale chip. To demonstrate how chunky and creamy it is. I feel like this video sounds really dirty in some ways and I'm not intending that. I definitely apologize. But if you look at this, hello. Like it is just full of cashews and, and um, nutritional yeast and like garlic and salt and they're just like so delicious and so crunchy. Um, so we got two flavors. The one that my boyfriend likes the most is the ultimate um, Ultimate Kale Chips is the brand. Um, the flavor he likes the most is hemp and cream, hemp cream and chai. Really good. I also agree it's delicious. The other one that I got that I remembered being better than it was. So I don't know if I just like got a weird bag or if they changed the formula since I was younger. Um, but the Better Than Cheddar um, vegan kale chips also amazing. Um, but honestly, if if you find um, this brand in your area, if you can order them online or whatever, I would recommend the hemp and chive. But both are really, really delicious. Also, if you don't have access to kale chips in your area, because, like, sometimes my boyfriend would make, like, dehydrated kale chips and stuff, but I didn't like them as much because they wouldn't be, like, as, like, crunchy. Um, like, they would just be kind of, like, not as dehydrated, if you know what I mean. Um, so one thing that I do, like, if you're, like, intrigued by me talking about cashew cheese, you can make your own cashew cheese by, like, soaking cashews in water um, overnight, or, like, if you use boiling water, you can do it, like, in maybe 30 minutes, um, and blending it with, like, garlic and, like, olive oil and, like, um, lemon juice and, um, and, like, some water and nutrition yeast. Oh my god. Um, I feel like vegans know this, but if you are like a new vegan or if you're like interested in like vegan food, nutritional yeast, this, this is my favorite freaking thing. Um, this specific one's from Bob's Red Mill. You can get whatever type you want. You can get it in bulk at lots of like um, kind of organic like grocery stores and that kind of thing. Um, but I freaking love nutritional yeast so much. It tastes like really cheesy and nutty um, and it's a really good source of vitamin B12 which as a vegan is really difficult to get in um, non... unless you're like taking it as a pill or whatever which I also do um, but this is delicious. I eat it on my peanut butter sandwiches all the time. I eat it on rice. I eat it um, like basically on any salty dish I will be putting this on it. On popcorn it's freaking amazing. Like I feel like even non-vegans will agree that nutritional yeast on popcorn with salt and pepper is like uh, incredible. Um, speaking of popcorn, I feel like 
a butter that I've tried recently that's vegan that I've just been like in love with um, is the Basel one actually. Um, I was getting Earth Balance before and it was just like kind of hitting my wallet pretty hard and I found this one and it's like wonderful for baking and it tastes really good and like I like the salted one um, but yeah highly recommend that. Also while we're speaking of things that I don't have right now but I freaking love um, there's an Amy's Pizza okay if you guys have like Amy's Pizza in your area like it's a box of pizza brand that you can purchase at lots of like kind of vegan-y places um, the one that's like roasted veggies with no cheese has like an onion caramelized freaking base layer with like artichokes and freaking like I don't like peppers normally but it has peppers on it and it's really good and there's like mushrooms and stuff and I know this sounds like not great foods to a lot of people like onions artichokes mushrooms but oh my god this stuff literally like makes my life and like with this it's incredible and like literally when my boyfriend brings that stuff home like i i don't i i already love him with like all my heart but like uh, also exciting 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 possible news um we might be moving into a bigger place you guys um i'm really excited we looked We've been looking at some places recently. Um, I love our house now, but um, we might get a place in the area that's just bigger, but um, it's still in the area. Okay. And now it's time for like the refrigerated food part of the haul, which I'm like so, so excited for. Um, I literally, okay, yeah. Lots of this stuff, I don't know. Okay, I'll start with something that like you might be able to find in your local place, um, which is Gardein brand, Gardein? I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, the Golden Filet, um, the Fish Free f Fish Filet. This is so good. My boyfriend made it um, in burgers for me last night um, and we ate it with like some fries that he cooked up and it was just like, I don't know. I, I miss fish. Um, I, I think I used to like fish, but not eat it very much when I was a vegan. Um, I did go vegan when I was 12, if you're curious. I went vegetarian when I was nine. I don't know. People tend to ask that, so there's your answer if you care. Um, but this stuff, amazing. Um, I haven't tried a lot from this brand that I've like super loved, but this definitely sticks out as something that I really, really would recommend. Okay, then <laughs> at the vegan place where my boyfriend just like was like go wild get whatever you want um we got a bunch of things the one that i am so excited about is these green onion pancakes um i cannot read anything on the label unfortunately um but perchance one could find a recipe um to make like like if you look up like scallion pancakes or green onion pancakes or something like that um i am so excited for these they are like you cook them in like a pan with like some olive oil and they just become these deliciously crispy like bubbled up like amazingly like flaky on the outside but still like really soft and delicious on the inside and you can almost like roll them up like crepes but like I just like to eat them by themselves like without anything in them or anything because they're just like so freaking good they're kind of greasy um so I can only usually eat like one or yeah like one um, at a time since they are pretty big um, so we got a big pack and it'll last a lot last us a long time and I'm super super excited about it another thing that I cannot read the packaging on other than the part that's a vegan sashimi salmon I'm so excited for this one I've never tried it before um, so I will have to report back if I do try it um, however the thing that I'm a little nervous about is that um, it stays good for one year if it's frozen but as soon as you thaw it you only have two days to eat it so um, my boyfriend and I need to figure out an effective way to like thaw only parts of it at a time so that it doesn't like all go bad and we don't like have to eat it super fast but I'm so excited I literally I don't I literally don't remember what salmon tastes like um I haven't had any like vegan salmon substitute ever either um and it's and I don't think I like ate very much fish like I said um when I wasn't vegan um so so excited to try this I don't know if I'll like salmon but people always say it's good and um yeah, my first job, we used to sell these, like, super overpriced salmon bagels that were, like, with cream cheese and capers and onion and stuff. Um, oh my god. Ugh. It's fine. Um, I just... Not for me. Okay. Um, this is something my boyfriend picked out that I will not be partaking in because I'm a baby and I can't handle anything spicy. Um, so he got some vegan spicy beef, which, cool, we'll see how that goes. A thing that I will mention, though, about, um, vegan 
beef um, is that I have this amazing cookbook with like a green cover. Let me just go get it. How It All Vegan. This is like one of my favorite cookbooks. It's really, really wonderful. And it has this recipe that I love to make. It's um, this one, the ginger chicken. Um, it's like definitely a comfort food. Um, the only problem with it is that it takes like an hour for the thing to cook on the stove. Um, and the thing that you need for it is vital wheat gluten. So if you're making your own vegan meats, like vital wheat gluten is usually the thing that you're gonna wanna have. Um, I know that like all my stuff is from Bob's Red Mill. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything, but they're a great company, they're employee owned. Um, so good for you, Bob's Red Mill. We love to hear it, we love to see it. Um, and they just have really good stuff. But either way, um, this cookbook has the recipe for the ginger chicken. Um, I've been making it for like a year and lots of times when I make it, I make just like a huge amount since it takes a really long time. And then I store it in the freezer and just like break off chunks of my like ginger chicken that I make um, to like use in stir fries. And it's like my boyfriend's favorite thing. But I haven't been able to make it like all summer because our apartment gets so hot. And I like literally cannot imagine keeping the stove on for 60 minutes to cook something like no matter how good it is it's just it's not worth it it's not uh it's not um realistic for the summer this i am curious and have mixed feelings about because it reminds me of this time that my boyfriend and i um were having like our like the Thanksgiving it just happened so the tofurkey was on sale at the grocery store and we were like oh my god this looks so good it was like this big box like tofurkey loaf and we were like oh my god like this is gonna be amazing like he was like it has stuffing like oh my god like I miss stuffing like I can't wait to have it and whatever and um, we opened the box that was a giant box and the loaf in it was like this big and it took forever to cook and it didn't taste that good um, cause all the stuffing was like a brown rice stuffing and like I am, I know it's good for you but I just don't like brown rice as much as I like like jasmine rice and just like normal rice, right? that's so terrible. Um, but um, yeah basically it was, it, we, we were not a fan so I'm a little bit, um, I don't want to say skeptical, slightly nervous about the vegan herb soy loaf. Um, but maybe it'll be incredible and I am excited to try it. I think Cage picked this one out, so. Okay. Then, um, this is something that I love, um, Beyond Meat Burgers. Usually Cage and I get these just, like, at a and w like, we just get the Beyond Meat Burgers. I get mine with no mayo, and he gets his with no cheese, or, well, I get mine with no cheese and no mayo. Sometimes he gets his with cheese, um, because I'm vegan, but, like, Cage is just vegetarian, um, but, like, we mostly eat vegan because I mostly cook, um, but when he does cook, he cooks vegan for both of us, which is sweet. It's just when we eat takeout or, um, that kind of thing that he'll, like, throw some cheese on, whatever. Uh, but we got some Beyond Meat burgers. Um, I know you can buy them, I think, at, like, Costco, um, for cheaper. I don't know if there's a Costco in your area, also you need a membership, but like maybe if your mom has one or whatever, if you're like underage, but um, I don't think underage people are watching my like food haul video. Yeah, scratch that. Beyond Meat Burgers, incredible. Um, yeah, I feel like pe the only people that watch grocery hauls are people that like do their own groceries, right? And like I know some kids do as well. Okay, I don't know, whatever. This is amazing, um, but like, yeah, this stuff is not like normal stuff that Cage and I buy. Like this is all kind of like splurge vegan food um, for the most part. Like I said, bananas and like stir fry of like broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, green onions, regular onions, like white onions, mushrooms. We freaking love oyster mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Um, and like I like tiny tomatoes. That's like our, our like go-to thing. Um, if you guys want, um, I also make this soup all the time. Like this vegan noodle soup. Um, I would love to do like cooking content for you guys if you're interested, but I don't know if anyone like cares about that kind of thing because I don't think y'all come to me for that, but I'm interested. I don't know if y'all are. Let me know. Um, this is something that I'm interested in. Um, Cage picked this out. It's vegan fried squid rings. Um, he says he really likes squid rings. I don't know what they're like, um, so we'll find out. But how exciting that all of these products exist in a vegan format <laughs> and um this one i picked out is the vegan imitation bacon this is like some of the best vegan uh bacon that i've had um if you the other one that's like much more common that i do like still um is eve's 
um, brand like bacon is really nice but I would also recommend you can make your own um, like as a like kind of topper for like salads and pastas and stuff like that you can make like coconut bacon with like maple syrup and like soy sauce and like liquid smoke liquid smoke is like one of the best ingredients in my opinion and it's like super underrated um, I like Someone um, left this bottle of liquid smoke at my parents' house, like, probably more than 10 years ago, and they were like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, and now it's, like, almost finished, but we literally use, like, a drop of it or two in, like, our soups and um, stir fries and stuff, and it's my freaking favorite. Like, I, I really like um, smoky flavors, and this gives it, but it's really good in coconut bacon. That's what I was trying to say. There is, okay, so there's this really wonderful vegan cooking blog that I used to like read all the time. Now I don't read as many um, cooking blogs because I've just kind of consolidated all my favorite recipes into my own like little cookbook thing. Um, so it's all good for me. Um, but one that I would highly recommend to check out is It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. Um, they have like all these different ways to make your own vegan bacon that are really wonderful. Because um, I feel like, yeah, that's like one thing that um, I felt like I really missed um, when I went vegan was bacon, um, because, I don't know, I was, like, vegan during that whole freaking bacon trend of, like, the early 2000s where everyone was, like, bacon's so funny and, like, let's put it on everything. Not that I'm, like, mad about it. It was just, like, uh, I didn't get it at all. I mean, it's good, but, like, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Um, someone's mad about my bacon opinion. I almost forgot this one in my freezer, um, and because I almost didn't see it. But I'm literally, like, when I saw these, I was, like, just, I, I lost it. Like, I was so freaking stoked because I was literally talking to Cage. Um, okay, this is, <laughs> this is how the whole thing started, um, was that, um, okay, so at the cat cafe I work at, we have, like, a bunch of, like, vegan options, and, um, I was talking to Cage about, like, because he was asking, like, do you miss stuff that, like, that you, like, do you miss anything from, like, not being vegan? And I was like, honestly, uh, croissants, because, like, you know, like, he was eating a croissant at the time, and I was just like, man, like, that's just, like, one thing that, like, I remember having, and I remember being really good, and I was like, I bet there's, like, vegan croissants out there. So I, like, googled it, and the bakery that makes vegan pastries and stuff for my cat cafe that I work at, oh, my cat cafe, it's just the cat cafe that I work at, um, also has their own, like, separate bakery where they have tons of stuff, including vegan croissants. So I was like, oh my god, let's go on a date where we go to the vegan bakery and, like, check it out and, like, eat some vegan croissants because they have them that are chocolate hazelnut stuffed and then they have ones that are, like, toasted almond flavored, like, with almond butter and so, like oh oh my god right um so and 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 they I know they're a good bakery because like some of the cupcakes that we get from them like, there's these strawberry vanilla cupcakes that are like a vanilla base with like a strawberry frosting and a dehydrated strawberry on top and inside there's vegan whipped cream and a strawberry it's like delightful so I was like so excited to try their um, croissants so I was like okay Jake we're gonna go on this date we're gonna go like Halloween shopping and we're gonna check out the vegan bakery and it'll be like so cute and like I'll dress up all cute and like um, he got his um, hair dyed with like uh, leopard print so I was like I'm gonna wear my little like leopard print choker so we'll be all like matchy matchy it was gonna be like adorable and then uh, we didn't find Halloween stuff and the um, pastry place was closed because it was Monday but but Fear not, the universe was looking out because the place that we went sold vegan croissants! Um, so there's four of them. I'm so excited to have them. Um, I'm like not very much of like a making pastry person. Like the main, like I had a phase where I was making like soda bread a couple times and like I really like to make vegan pretzels. Um, but like in terms of like croissants and like things that like require a lot of layers, I was like, I just, oh, it seems like such a pain. Um, so to find them, um, in a pre-made kind of situation, like, dream of my life. I'm so excited to have these. I, I do miss croissants and I, and I really hope they'll be good. Um, so now I'm, like, really excited because finally I filmed this video so I can, like, eat the frozen stuff because I didn't know I was going to film the video when I had, like, all my other ingredients, but then I got the frozen stuff and I was like, Cage, like, we can't eat any of this stuff until I film. But now I'm all filmed up and it's... It's okay 
to try it. So I'm really, really excited to get to that. Um, I hope it goes well. Me and Sweet Lemon wish you a wonderful day. Um, I'm sorry if a lot of the items that I talked about were like perhaps not as um, accessible in like your own areas, but I honestly just got like super excited about this vegan food haul. And if you want me to do cooking content, please let me know because I'm super interested in trying that. I hope this is filming. I hope I'm like in the frame and it's not super awkward. It feels really awkward, so it probably is. However, um, uh, thank you so, so much for watching and like hanging out with me and Lemon today, kind of, even though she's like only been here for the last minute. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm sending you a big hug and lots of love. So, um, thanks for watching and bye. <laughs>